Hello from the National Weather Service in Grand Junction. This will be a short presentation on accessing a fire weather forecast through our webpage and additional products that you may find useful. Of course, you want to go to our webpage at weather.gov forward slash GJT. If you go down to the forecast header, just below that, you'll find the fire weather link. If you left click, up will come the fire weather page. Now to find a fire weather zone, you just find the zone on the map and you would left click on it. Up would come the zone forecast. If you want a list of current fire weather watches, red flag warnings, you'd come down here just below the red flag and click on that link there. Another place you can find a list of the current uh, watches and warnings is back on our front page, just to the right of the clickable map. Now some other things of interest back on the uh, fire weather page. If you scroll down just a bit, uh, you can find this experimental fire weather point forecast matrix. Left click on that. Up comes a map of eastern Utah and western Colorado. All the, uh, <coughs> the locations here are actually raw stations. You can click on the map. If we click here, say near Ernie Gulch, up will come a tabular hourly forecast. There's quite a lot of information here. If you scroll down to the very bottom of the page, there's actually an element key that lists all the different acronyms and what they mean. Kind of make sense of that if we step back just here a moment. You can also input a lat long and hit the go button to get to get the data for a certain location, or you can actually select one of the raw stations and then hit the go button. Some people prefer to view this tabular data in a graphical format, so near the, the top of the data here you can see it says graphic format. If you click on this link up will come the data but in a graphical sense you can uh, turn certain elements on and off. You can also move backward and forward in time with the data. Something else that might be of interest if we scroll back up the fire weather page is uh, just under the forecast header once again is the forecast discussion. This brings up the area forecast discussion. This is a technical narrative behind the forecast reasoning, also some of the different confidence levels and possible alternate scenarios that may occur with the forecast. We hope you found this uh, presentation insightful into accessing your local uh, fire weather forecast and some of the additional products that are available. If you have any questions, please give the office a call. Thanks for listening.